Yeah, so this says two lines are visible. My test is positive if two lines are visible. And it says ovulation is likely to occur within 24 to 36 hours. This is the time you are the most fertile and likely to get pregnant. Oh my God. Let's go right now. Let's go right now. Come okay. on now. Jesus. Hey team, welcome back to another video. Not a typical video that we were expecting to make. No, no, we literally decided this morning this is the video we're uh, gonna make. <laughs> uh, because this morning we, uh, we got some interesting and good news. Levi, I got my period. Today is my first period in 11 years, uh, which is really exciting, but at the same time, I forgot how uh, tired and uh, sore and how much you spend a lot of time with the little uh, heater thing shoved down your pants. <laughs> So to give a little bit of context as to what happened and how we ended up in this circumstance, uh, a little over two weeks ago, Leah had her IUD removed. People who don't know what an IUD is, uh, that stands for an intrauterine device. I should just grab mine so I can show. Sure. Okay, hold on, let me go get it. Benefits of living with a sexual health educator is that when these things come up, you have some props to illustrate. That is what the IUD looks like. Uh, this is actually a copper IUD. The one that I had <laughs> comes in this big scary thing, uh, <laughs> but it's the hormonal type of IUD. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and even with the one that I had, the hormonal IUD uh, that's good for five years, you can actually leave it in for up to seven years. So I had that one in for almost six years, but it was time, it was time for it to come out. Uh, I'm gonna do a whole podcast episode to round off season two where I talk about why I got the IUD taken out uh, and answering a whole bunch of your questions about what the last few weeks has been like. Uh, so more information over there. But to us, this means that it changed our um, uh, sexual repertoire with each other because I've had an IUD since I was 19 years old. The reason why this was such a, a big thing for us is because obviously we were not planning on getting pregnant uh, as soon as Leah's IUD came out, but we had it removed and literally within days had sex like normal as if nothing had changed and almost instantaneously we were like, oh my God, what have we done? Whoopsie. So up until this morning, Leah and I weren't entirely sure if she wasn't pregnant. Yeah, it was a little scary because really uh, all you can do is wait to see if the period arrives or not. Uh, so the last two weeks have been like, do, do, a little stressful. Do, do. <laughs> um, we have a ton of really exciting plans. We're both heading into a pretty busy year in 2022 with both of our careers and we wanna travel abroad. We wanna live in another country. And this would have been a pretty massive wrench in those plans. Yeah, like we maybe could have gone if I was pregnant for the first few months, yeah. but I've never been pregnant before. I don't know what that's gonna feel like, if yeah. there's gonna be any complications. And quite honestly, I don't wanna be that far away from our families when no. we do decide to have kids. No, it just wouldn't have worked. I, I think it would have really compromised that experience yeah. and we wouldn't have probably gone just because we would wanna focus on doing, you know, parenthood properly um <laughs> plus you what you're gonna like go to europe and i'll be like oh wow, i'm so glad we're in france where i can't drink any of the wine <laughs> or eat any of the soft cheeses i was sent a whole bunch of these ovulation tests and up until now i haven't really had to use them or worry about them because yeah. i had the iud in so after we had the unprotected sex the next day i was like oh well if i'm not ovulating then it's not like a big deal yeah but we should check and sure enough i was ovulating 
But like, we really just don't have another option. Like, it's it's that or wait and see. Yeah, I'm not waiting and seeing. It literally said you're ready to pump out a baby. So we just googled it. We're about to leave the house, and like, even if you you. The way that the plan B, the morning after pill works, is that it prevents you from ovulating, prevents the egg from being released. But if you are too close to ovulating or are already ovulating, it won't work. So there's like a 60% chance that it works, but I may already be ovulating. Hi. Janice, hi. Um, We're here to get some plan B. Okay. <laughs> and yes, we, we do know our pharmacist by name. Thanks. Thank you. If I haven't had my period in three weeks. Well, well yeah. <laughs> well, this will be an announcement video. <laughs> no, we actually oh my showing God. the pregnancy test. <laughs> we were flying very close to the sun and uh, it just brought up so many feelings and emotions and thoughts about our future because obviously we are at a point in our lives where if Leo were to get pregnant, we would keep the baby because that's, you know, a, a thing that we're able to do. We're well prepared for that inevitability in our life, but it, it was suddenly like, wow, like we, I, all these feelings of like, no, I really have stuff I wanna do. There's things that I wanna accomplish in my life before I dedicate myself to raising another human. And, and this was like, yeah, yeah it, was, it was crazy. I was surprised at how like instant the, the emotions hit me. It's funny because I felt a bit of both where like I felt, I felt a little emotional actually about taking plan B, which I didn't expect that I was going to. Mm. Um, but I also just feel like it was a bit of a mix of emotions where you're right. There are a lot of things that we want to do. There's milestones and me being pregnant would change a lot of those things. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm not going to lie this morning when I got my period, I, the tiny part of me was disappointed. Like I, That's I need, so crazy to me. Like, I know. I need to be honest. Like it's I, it's something. Oh. <laughs> he's so scared. It was oh. just because I do. You know, I want us to have a kid together. I don't want it to be right now, but I don't know. <laughs> so now that we know that we're not going to be like surprise parents in 2022, um, we have a sort of new desire to like really make this uh, a cool and lifelong memory that we're going to take into the rest of our lives. Like it was always going to be that way, but you know, when there's a, a glimmer that that might not happen, you're all the more uh, motivated, motivated to, <laughs> to go and do it and, and to have the deepest and richest experience you can in this particular situation that we're in because we're never going to be able to re recreate this. We're fulfilling our dink lives. Yes. Our double income, no kids life. We're going to share all of that with you. We're going to do it as low impact as possible. And uh, if you are interested in hearing about Leah's journey as she goes through this, her podcast is going to be linked down in the description as well. And uh, on a side note, I get to try a diva cup for the first time. Oh, there's a hair on that one. Oops. But, you know, I've had this for so long and I haven't been able to use it. So that's cool. There is a whole bunch of other stuff going on in our lives right now. We're gonna be talking about that in next week's video, so make sure that you are subscribed, you've got those notifications on, and of course, if you do, we'll see you in the next one. Just the two of us. There won't be three of us in the next one, because there's just the two of us. Do, 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 even though this looks scary, just the two of us. <laughs>